Good morning and welcome to our weekly question time. We've got our star of the week and our superhero of the week. Good morning, girls. What class are you both in? Hedgehogs. Hedgehog year one. Yeah, the year one hedgehogs. Fantastic. What's your favourite thing about being in the hedgehogs? Uh, learning about maths. Oh, what do you like about maths? It learns you about numbers. It does. What are you doing in maths this week? Can you remember? Uh, it, it, you equal numbers to big numbers. Ah, so you equal in numbers, getting the same answers. Brill. What about you? What do you like the best about being in the hedgehogs? Maths. You like maths as well. What do you like the best about maths? <laughs> Have you got your silly heads on? <laughs> you like numbers as well. All types of numbers? Yeah. Brill. Like 100,000. That is a super massive number. <laughs> super massive. <laughs> Should we move on, move on with our questions? Yeah. Okay. If you could have any animal for a pet, which one would you pick? Puppy and kitten. Puppies and kittens. You could have anything. You could have giraffes. Oh, I, have... I did want a meerkat. And a rabbit. And a lion. A lion. I'm going to be here all day, aren't I? So I'll just sit I back and let you lion. choose between you. So you want a lion. <laughs> naughty. A naughty lion as a pet. <laughs> I, I want all the creatures in town. You can only pick one. Which one would you pick? A kitten. Out of all of them, you pick a kitten? <laughs> and a puppy. And, and a, she's going for a lion. <laughs> and you want a cat or a dog? A naughty lion. A naughty I, want lion. A, I want a kitten and a puppy. Right, okay. Fair <laughs> enough then. So I've got you a lion, know, a kitten um, and a puppy. Do you know Angel? She ripped her fall up. No, so she's going to win. Has she? All yeah. oh, right, and you want to replace her? Uh, no, I want to keep her. She's so cute when she was puppy. Oh, she? Yeah. And that's why you want a new one? Yeah. Fantastic. Also, I'm on my boots, I'll, I'm getting a rabbit or something. If I be here, because my new baby brother's just came. Oh, well, you better behave then, haven't you? If you want that rabbit. Should we move on to our next question? Yeah. yeah. What is your happiest memory? Uh, oh, um, about my um, granddad. Okay, tell me more. Uh, One second, tell me about Nan and Grandma first. What uh, makes you happy? What um, memory have you got? Because Nan Nan, nan um, um, puts us everything on what we want. And Grandad made us apple pie. Oh, I, I love, love apple it. pie. Me too. That sounds like good memories to have. And what about you? What's your favourite memory? Going to Disneyland. Going to Disneyland? Have you been to Disneyland? Yeah, what did you like the best about there? Um, there was like this car's ride and, it, and I had to drive all by myself. You could drive your own car at Disneyland? <laughs> oh my word! It was like a ride! Was it? What? Yeah. But was it really fun? I just did a steal. I'm glad you enjoyed it. That's a very happy memory to keep. <laughs> okay then girls, next question. Yeah. What job do you want when you're older? Oh, I want to be a vet. A vet? Is that because you like pets so much? Lots yeah, of different animals. I want to work at Disneyland. And you want to work at Disneyland? Tell me why you want to be a pet then. Um, a pet worker because um, pets are so adorable. And if they get hurt, um, people need to help them. That's right. And you want to be that helpful person? Yeah. That's a lovely answer. And why do you want to work at Disneyland? Because I want to sell stuff in the store at shops. You want to sell stuff in the Disneyland shops? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that still sounds like fun. You could still go on all the rides and everything, couldn't you? If you were there. <laughs> But it's still a happy memory, it's something that makes you happy when you think of, that's really good. Next question then girls. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, chocolate. what food would you pick? Chocolate. Chocolate? Yeah, that, would be, that would be chocolate for breakfast, <laughs> chocolate for snack, chocolate for dinner, chocolate then, for snack. Chocolate for tea. <laughs> You'd be happy with that? Yeah. Oh my chocolate. word. Kobe oh, yeah. likes chocolate so much. And me too. Well. Um, I know what I think. A hot chocolate cake. So you'd go so. for chocolate cake. So you want chocolate and you want chocolate cake. For breakfast, for dinner, for yeah. tea. And for throwing people. And for throwing at people? <laughs> hey, hey, that was I'm a part of the do, question. I'm going to do it too. <laughs> That's a bit bonkers. <laughs> I've only got one more question, girls. Are you ready? Yeah. It's a bit of a weird one. If one of the grown-ups around school was secretly an alien, 
Who do you think that alien would be? Uh, Mrs. Young. Mrs. Young. Why do you think Mrs. Young's an alien? <laughs> because she was in a spaceship. Because she came here in a spaceship? <laughs> Does she park it in the car park? Yes. Yeah, in the oh, she's not a very good secret, <laughs> a secret keeper. She's landed in the car park. Yeah, with an invisible spaceship. Ah, so she's landed in an invisible spaceship. What grown-up do you think could be the alien? Um, <laughs> my dad. Your dad doesn't work at this school. What grown-up in school? Your dad might be an alien, you never know. Um, Mrs. Balance. Mrs. Balance? <laughs> Why do you think Mrs. Balance an alien? Like, I thought her... With, with the alien ship and, and, and it was invisible and then she turned it invisible. Did she? So does she fly home after <laughs> she finishes school and fly to school in the morning? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to keep my eyes on your teachers in your classroom if they're both aliens. And there's a load of teachers who are aliens. You think all the teachers are aliens? <laughs> all the 10,000, 100,000 million teachers are aliens. Every teacher in the world is an alien. Um, with, with invisible spaceships. With invisible spaceships. <laughs> well, I think that's as good a place to end it as any. Give the people at home a big wave and say goodbye. Bye-bye.